So before we get we get into the thick of it, um, you're a big basketball fan uh, and a big fan of Golden State Warriors. And and while there may be a big fan base, there are also some people that aren't fans at all. No, um, I guess no way. Division of lovers and haters of the uh, of the Golden State Warriors. Uh, we wanted to actually dig into this a bit more, so we asked some of our uh, user testing contributors why they either loved or hated the Warriors. So let's listen to some of what they had to say. Why do I think some people either love the Warriors, Steph Curry and Draymond Green, or hate them? Love them because they're good um, and hate them also because they're good. Well, in my opinion, even though I'm not a Warriors fan, the Warriors are one of the greatest NBA dynasties of all time. Uh, but people like to disrespect them because they've just been so dominant for so long, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't really agree that they're quite overrated either because, I mean, quite frankly, they put the numbers up every other year. So, and, you know, they they got a system that works, in my opinion. Um, I, I notice, like, every new player they come, they bring in, you know, it's not like they're just really just bench warmers, you know? They kind of really do make sure their players, like, you know, you get the work done. Whether you like hate or like Steph Curry or Draymond Green, you have to accept that they are like really good. Like they're like top of their game. So there's really no reason to like hate them for that or disrespect them for that. But people use them being overrated as an excuse to like hate them. Well, I, I mean, some people just like to see winners lose. So... It's like the Patriots. Either love them or hate them when Brady was on there. So, I mean, so either love the Warriors or hate the Warriors. I would say I don't like the Warriors, but I don't hate them. But I want a new team to win the finals and become the next stacked team like the Warriors are right now. For other people, um, myself included, I definitely feel like, oh, it's the Warriors again. Steph Curry, he's, 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 he's a beast. He's... I don't know. These three pointer, he's insane. It's every clutch shot. He's one of the best players to ever play the game. He's definitely not underrated. I feel like people hate on him because of how um, hyped up he, he is, but he's actually like, he's actually really good. So um, he makes his shots and he literally carried like an entire game during the finals. So I don't think he's overrated at all. They are, they're a fun team to watch. They really are. As Steph Curry's a very likable player, uh, very relatable. People hate them because of their dominance or they love them because of their dominance. So it's a double-edged sword, I guess you could say. When it comes to ball, I'm not very critical. Um, I'm personally a Knicks fan. So it's like, I already know what it is to be disappointed and all this stuff. So like, I'm, I take it easy when it comes to ball these days. All right. Super interesting to hear the reasoning behind why people either love or hate the Warriors. I know you're a lover of the Warriors. Could you empathize with any of the haters? Yeah, I mean, of course. Like, you know, people people want to see change. They want to see somebody new on top. They want to see some new things. I, I was surprised nobody said anything about shimmying the salary cap or being light years ahead and their the ownership quotes. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I get it. I, I get I get some of the frustration. Winning does that. Yeah, I mean, uh, as someone based in the Boston area, I think people have plenty of opinions about teams like the Patriots um, and, and, and the Celtics. I mean, if we want to go the, the, the Boston route, so uh, it'd be fun to, to dig into that some more. But it is, I mean, sports is such an emotionally charged thing. Uh, it's, it's fascinating to, to, to hear people comment on it. I, I think one of the most interesting things is to think about it as, you know, soap operas for people who aren't culturally allowed to watch soap operas, you know, what's happening in the off season, which character is doing what. And uh, Boston has certainly had its share of characters. The Warriors have their share of characters. It's pretty cool to think about it that way. Yeah, you're totally right. You're making me feel um, like, you know, better about some of the TV shows that I might be watching that I probably should be doing other things with my time. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same thing. It's all the it same. It sure is. 